All right, folks. <coughs> Welcome to another beer review. And uh, today, my watch has just undone. We're going over to Pressure Drop and we're having a look at Cheese Volume 2, uh, which is a 7.4% ABV New England IPA. Bite into the taste of Strata and Mosaic. Uh, enjoy the flavour of fruity and dank hops in this hazy IPA. Not had anything from Pressure Drop for a good while. And um, yes, yeah, I thought I'd pick this beer up. So let's see what we get. So I've already had a Imperial Smoothie Sour and a Imperial Stout from Cloudwater. So I thought I'd uh, end the night on some nice, hoppy, hazy goodness. Um, and I'll probably end up having another beer after this one, because why not? But beer in a glass then, and uh, it's a really nice sort of like orangey, lemony, hazy little number. With two fingers worth of a white head, looking very nice in this St. Mars of the Desert tulip glass. So let's see what we get on the nose. Mm. Soft sherbetty melon. There is that very subtle dank edge on the nose. It's got that like slightly sweaty aroma to it and loads of bruised fruits. Yeah, definitely got a sweaty sock aroma, but it works remarkably well. Um, maybe that's just something that I'm into. Who knows? And I look uh, somewhat angelic in this. I've got a... It's not a ring light. It's just a mirror that's got a ring light on it. Um, I did actually put it up just on level with like the camera on my tripod. But all you could see was like the, the ring on my eye. Um, not had a ring on my eye for a long time. I'll... But... Um... Oh yeah, definitely. The the more it sort of like sits in the glass, the danker it gets and the sweatier. And do you know what? I mean, I know the beer's called cheese, so that instantly implants lots of foam was developing in my mouth as I was speaking then. Uh, but as soon as you like see the word cheese, it's planted in your brain. But there is that sort of like, like freshly opened Gruyere sort of character to it. I am very sophisticated when it comes to cheese. Um, I don't just have any old tosh. Um, I'm very, very careful when it comes to my cheese selections. Because let's face it, although it's a cheap processed cheese... When you get a burger, what cheese are you going to have? You're going to have the, the cheese squares because that's just how burgers should be. But then you can have like strong mature cheddars, which is my always my go-to in a general cheese sense. But I do like a, and I like a nice Comte. I like a nice Gruyere. Um, I don't bother with like blue cheeses or anything like that. A lot of soft cheeses I'm not a big fan of. Cream cheese I do like. But there is there is a little bit of a cheesy sort of a sweaty sock aroma. Like um, what shimpads would smell like after a good Sunday league football match. But it works remarkably well. Anyway. I digress. 
Heads dissipated nicely, looks very nice in the glass if it'll focus. Oh. There we go. So uh, let's give it a taste. Oh, that's very nice. It does have that dank character to it. I would still say a little bit of a sweatiness to it. I, I, I can't escape it. There is like a, a cheesiness to this beer. Like when you open a pack of cheese and it's there's like moisture in it. I don't I don't know. It sounds weird. Um, but yeah, definitely dank. There's a little bit of a a resiny edge to it. It's so soft, so soft in the mouth. I got arrested last time it was soft in the mouth. <laughs> Such an awful, awful joke in the thematic sense to make. Um, but hey ho. Getting a slight garlic powder character and there's a uh, drunken youths speaking outside my window um, not on my property because I don't have youths um, on the property because that would be fundamentally wrong but I do live very close to a, a pub, so. Who knows, there may be a kickoff outside. But yeah, I don't know, is it just like the, is it power of persuasion? Um, but there is something inherently cheesy about this beer. Um, almost like, you know when like, if you've like lifted a cheese out of the fridge and it's been out of the fridge, not a little bit too long because if it has, it, it'd go bad, wouldn't it really? But, you know, like the, the condensation because it's been chilled and then it's in room temperature and then you get very slight moisture on the cheese. Um, stick with me because, believe it or not, this is actually a wonderful, wonderful New England IPA. Um, I've just got a very strange way of describing it, uh, evidently. But, um, yeah, I don't know. In my head, I've got, like, cheese that's come to room temperature slightly, and it's got a little bit of a like a, a moisture on it um but really nice fruity flavors pineapple chunks the brine of a fruit salad maybe but yeah it is a very dank very dank sort of beer almost it feels as if simcoe might be in there because I know sometimes these beers, even though like the two hops that have been, I'm not giving you the the two fingers. Um, we'll do the peace sign because it's much more, it's less aggressive and it's less toxic. Um, obviously, Strata and Mosaic are the two main hops in this. But you do sometimes find a lot of breweries will put a little bit of 
different hops in there, just in the background. But it's reminded me of that sort of like character you get from. <coughs> Excuse me, this is a mess of a beer review. Um, but it reminds me of those characteristics you get from something like Simcoe. There's a little bit of a soft berry note in there. At a stretch. Beautiful body and mouthfeel to the uh, IPA. I didn't have volume one of cheese. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's because it's got the beer's called cheese. I'm instantly trying to think of different cheeses. But there is that sort of characteristic. There's like, you know, that aftertaste you sometimes get from some aftertaste well, that feels nice actually um but you know that sort of like aftertaste you sometimes get from cheese there was a little bit in there um like genuinely not bullshitting or whatever there is a little bit of a cheesiness to it and i think that's where the dankness comes from but there's like really nice soft rounded fruity tones it's a very very satisfying drinkable IPA. As I said, beautiful mouthfeel. The dankness is really there. Fruity and dank. That That's all you need to know. And um, yeah, lovely stuff from Pressure Drop. I don't know if I said Pressure Drop or if I called them a different brewery at the start of the beer review i don't know this is definitely the the last beer of the night i've got some uh little biltong up in that gray box there that's where i put all my beer snacks although that was depleted very quickly oh, but that's that's absolutely lovely it, it genuinely is that's a lovely ipa 7.4 percent pressure drop we all know that they're a great brewery and this, I don't know why I'm putting it down there because I need to get a thumbnail. Um, but yeah, highly recommended. Uh, I didn't try Cheese Volume 1, but a lot of like breweries like use like Cheeseburger, Brock, obviously of Half Broccoli, um, Left Hand and Giant have the Cheeseburger thing. So I think there is a lot to say about these sort of like Maybe there needs to be like a proper discussion um, or like a blog post or a, an article about these like characteristics of cheese that you can get in IPAs. And um, yeah, I don't know if like they've called it cheese for a laugh or if when they've brewed it or if they've got an idea of the... The hop combinations you get a slight cheesy it's not it doesn't taste like cheese don't get me wrong it's not like you've opened a pack of watsits or cheetos or bit into a a block of cheese but there are characteristics of cheese in this beer <laughs> um, yeah i should just stop reviewing beers and just live my life um and i'm i'm definitely in dire need of a of a decent haircut but that will never happen i've never had i've never had a decent hairstyle in my whole existence really um but i don't know i, I kind of like my hair at the moment although it's got to that point now i mean i mean look at that hairline it goes all the way up there but it's got to that point now where kind of make yourself like a fucking mentalist and i'm okay with that um messy blonde hair with a turtleneck that's a good look um i could do without the whole boris johnson comments or ed sheeran i mean fucking ed sheeran i take more offense that people call me ed sheeran than i do boris johnson do you know what i mean uh it's weird isn't it considering that 
one of those people is an absolute maniacal idiot who just has no compassion for for people at all. Um, and then there's Boris Johnson. <laughs> Uh, no, you can't. You can't mock uh, Ed Sheeran with uh, the stuff that he's had to go through. Anyway, um, he just makes shit music, doesn't he? Let's be honest. Ed Sheeran is is talented. He's like Adele. Ed Sheeran is like the male version of Adele. Extremely talented, but makes fuck it. Well, no, no, actually, Adele makes really good music. Um, who's the female? version of Ed Sheeran. I don't know. I don't know. But then again, you've got that knobhead Lewis Capaldi, um, who just sounds like a, a cheap version of James, whatever his name was, from X Factor or whatever. Um, James Arthur. Lewis Capaldi just sounds like James Arthur. Um, let, let's, let's be brutally honest. Oh, he's funny though, and he's like blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I just don't want to listen to his fucking wank music. I don't know. There, there was something very inappropriate I was about to say about Lewis Capaldi, but I won't do that. At least he's not a fat cunt like uh, James Corden, one of the most unlikable wankers um, on the face of this planet. Who makes Piers Morgan a more likable ex British export to uh, American media. Um, by the way, America, I'm so sorry that you had to endure... Well, I think you are still enduring James Corden. I mean, I'm fat, so I can insult fat people. James Corden is one of the most insufferable, annoying wankers I've ever had the displeasure of... Being in my conscience. But then you've got someone like Sam Fender. Who. Very likeable. Not all of his songs. Are to my tastes. But I've got a lot more respect. For the likes of Sam Fender. Than I do. To James Corden, Lewis Capaldi, and Ed fucking Sheeran, and Piers Morgan. Um, who else? Who else is there? Who, what other British celebrities are really big in America? Um, what's his face? Um, something Oliver. Um, who? How arrogant is that? By the way, a British guy telling American people. how the voting choices are wrong. John Oliver. John Oliver, he's another fucking annoying twat. Um, why can't we have good English celebrities in America? Jimmy Carr does very well um, in America, although he did really alienate... Um, Travellers here in the UK with a very distasteful joke. But yeah, it, it is what it is. How the, how the fuck did we go from a beer review to me basically ranting about how much I fucking hate James Corden? You fat, annoying twat. And this is coming from someone who could happily fill out a bra. So before people say, oh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't take the piss out because he's fat. As a fat person, I could take the piss out of another fat person. As a British person, I could take the piss out of another British person. 
Um, so, yeah. I mean, if you like James Corden, then fair dues. It's chalk and cheese. Swings and roundabouts. Uh, people with good taste and people with bad taste, but hey how it is it is what it is and one day even though i know the car is on like a like a truck is guiding the car i'd love for them to have a fatal crash during carpool karaoke oh my god i don't want him to die even though i've just said i'd love a fatal crash but i just want him to fuck off do you know what I mean? The last good thing you did was History Boys. And you were alright in Fat Friends. Gavin and Stacey can get in the fucking sea, as far as I'm concerned. You've got Gavin and Stacey, uh, Ben Adorm, and Mrs. Brown Boys. Mrs. Brown's but Mrs. Brown. Mrs. Brown's Boys. Why is that shit popular? Do you know what I mean? But hey-ho, it is what it is. People like what they want. And, um, I mean, people supported Hitler. So, you know, it is what it is. But cheese is a very good beer. And uh, that's what I will say. Um, I'm very surprised I've not had the police knock at my door with some of the stuff that I've said on this channel. But, um, A cab. A cab. There we go. A cab. Fuck off. Check out, um, press drop in the, uh, description down below. It's a really good beer. Check it out. And, uh, thank you all for watching. And, um, yeah. I love Andrew Tate. <laughs> and Trump's innocent.